Dolphins fan here. What has happened to the comment section? I mean, I think it's always been filled with the biggest scums of the earth, but I believe we have finally found a diamond in the rough. Welcome everyone to another episode of Time to Football. I'm your ever so lovable host, the top button wearing Hassan Khan. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about two specific legends, Gardner Minshew and a Dolphins fan that has probably raided your Facebook. Believe it or not, one of these guys thinks that their sister is hot and it's not who you think it is. But before we get into all that, we have to recap last week with our hungriest player of the week. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Giants quarterback Daniel Jones had four total touchdowns, led an 18 point comeback and defeated the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 32 to 31 this past Sunday. But this is why he's the hungriest player. He wanted it the most because he proved to all the tabloids and all the media that he is deserving of a top 10 pick. He pretty much took those New York newspapers that crapped on him and he wiped his own crap with it. I personally prefer dude wipes myself, but Danny Dimes proved that he can be a superstar in this league and that is why he is our hungriest player of the week. Moving on to our next topic, Gardner Minshew. Is he the future franchise quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars? If you don't know about Gardner Minshew, he's a late round rookie that tried to break his hand in college so that he could be redshirted, works out on nothing but a jock strap in the locker room, and he says his preferred drink of choice is the next beer. Let's not forget that a lot of people are saying that he has a porn star mustache. And I say to you, how do you know what a porn star mustache looks like? Pretty much to sum it up, he's having the time of his life. Having the time of his life. But is he the future of the Jacksonville Jaguars? Let's take a look at his stats. 73.9% of his passes completed. Five touchdowns to only one interception. Has thrown for almost 700 yards through three games and has a quarterback rating of 110. Pretty solid numbers, but let's not forget Nick Foles. Foles, who injured himself in week one and has earned himself a certain nickname after winning the Super Bowl in Philadelphia, which we can't say on the show, otherwise we would get demonetized. So let's just call him Well-Endowed Nick. Well-Endowed Nick was brought in after winning the Super Bowl on a four-year contract by the Jaguars. The reason behind this is because for the next three or four years, Shad Khan, who is the owner of the Jaguars, and even though I have the same last name as him, I am not related to Shad Khan. You racist. Shad Khan wants to search for the future of the Jacksonville Jaguars while Nick Foles is a quarterback for the next few years. But it might have already happened by the way that Gardner Minshew has been playing. So it brings up the question, do you wait three or four years until Nick Foles' contract is up or do you start Gardner Minshew instead for the rest of the season? That's a legitimate question that the Jaguars have to think about because Minshew this week at least, he might come down to earth against a tough Broncos defense, but after this week, while Nick Foles is sidelined, he's going to be facing the Bengals, the Jets, the Panthers. These are all secondaries that aren't really scary, so Minshew will continue to make a strong case on why he should be the quarterback for the rest of the season. But I'm going to leave this topic in your hands. You guys give your opinions down below in the comment section. Will Gardner Minshew continue to be the quarterback for the Jaguars even when Nick Foles returns healthy. We're gonna take a quick break to tell you guys about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or sit format. All you do is pretty much guess which player is gonna have more fantasy points for that week. Matchups like Sterling Shepard or Evan Ingram, McCole Hardman or Demarcus Robinson, and Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones. If you're perfect in your predictions for the week, you can win a grand prize of $25,000. And if you're not perfect, all you gotta do is finish in the top 10% and you win nine times your money. And there's a bonus jackpot that you have a chance of winning that's over that $25,000. All you gotta do is go to www.overlaydfs.com to sign up and play. The link is in the description. It's lots of fun, I played it, and I have seen people win some legit money. www.overlaydfs.com. But for right now, we have to discuss this Dolphins fan that you've probably seen pop up on your Facebook timeline. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out this awesome video. 
Are you ready for some football? A Monday night party. The, the Bears and Redskins right here on Monday night. Yeah. So that man is Felipe Carvalho, and Felipe is your typical 26-year-old. I mean, he loves football, he works at Comcast, has a little bit of RBF, just a little, can't help it. But what he can't help is his tribal tattoos, and speaking of tattoos, he has a big Miami Dolphins tattoo on his back. And speaking of the Dolphins, you've probably seen him on Facebook pages related to the NFL. He's commenting, Dolphins fan here, Dolphins fan here. Random video of him swiveling his hips. Dolphins fan here. So many people have noticed that he comments a lot and have created memes related to Felipe. And at first I felt kind of bad for the guy because I didn't want people to make fun of him because if there was something off about him mentally, that's something you don't want to make fun of. But the more and more I saw him post and the more videos I watched of him, I noticed he's definitely trolling us. The only reason Tom Brady has six Super Bowl rings is because he won the Super Bowl six times. Well, we reached out to him through Facebook. We messaged him asking if he would like to be interviewed on this show, but he has not responded back yet. And that's why we need your help, Town of Football Faithful. Actually, Felipe, if you're watching this video right now, which I know you are because you probably Google your name because you want to see who's talking about you. You want the attention for something, but for what? So you, Felipe, reach out to us. In Time of Football Faithful, the next time you see him comment on a Facebook page, I don't even know if he has an Instagram or a Twitter, tweet him, tag him, DM him, whatever it is, tag me, tag Time of Football. You need to be on this show. You need an interview, and this will be the greatest video that has ever dropped onto YouTube. So you, Felipe, Time of Football, it's happening soon. But that'll wrap up this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with another episode every single week. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at Time Football. If you ever see Felipe Carvalho comment on a Facebook post, or you see him on Instagram or Twitter, tag Time to Football. Get him to be on the show. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and enjoy week four.